afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the Buckeye State Wells. This would be the about August of 17th of 2023. It will be early in the afternoon that I will be in Fostoy, Ohio. Not frankly just a well fan, but someone yeah. special I that I would be a fan of it. for a long time that would end up coming up here for his well fan rally. If you have seen tons of videos of that, this ain't yeah, the only is. one. This is Wealth and Ruins, mm, Wealth cool. and Wiley, yeah, here we'll at Fostroy, Ohio. It's 35K, yeah, Wealth and Wiley. Yeah, and his first train, cool. our first train actually, before he got here, was a CSX Asinol train with a AMD SD70M-2 and with an X City well will be trailing second. Doesn't have PCC to lead, but the SD70M would lead for today's Asinol. He's probably just coming a while. He coming now. Well, this is quietly new, and about this time, we would have an NS eastbound, and uh, we would see a signal for an eastbound, and quite frankly, this is um, a trio of Dash 9s, all elephant style, which is very, very surprising. You don't get a trio of Dash 9s, all elephant style like this, and I'm pretty sure this is the only NS that we would get for now. And this could be 148, but I'm not really sure what the symbol on this one is. We'll be heading east out of Fostoria District, but I'm not sure what the symbol on it, this one is. It will be really cool, because a lot of whale fans are already here, waiting for whale fan willing to get here.
Welfare Woman could have saw this, like, this afternoon, but he was, like, kind of 15 minutes late, but he was, this P01 was early. Well, that's because they got a journey all the way to Grand Rapids. P01 would be taking the Y from the Garrett sub to the Pemberville. They're going to give a tour all the way up towards Walbridge real quick, the yard, and then go north from there, taking the Plymouth sub from Plymouth, Michigan, to then going all the way to Grand Rapids, Michigan from there. Quick! Got good acceleration. Not a ton of weight. <laughs> well, I'll So we're at the Garrett, the other side of the park, and we would end up getting a westbound manifest that would end up coming towards our way. It's not a fresh unit, but it's like one of the rebuilds that are leading this manifest today. This was probably going to be the last train to Warren show us so. up. Good thing this ain't anything special. But after the power went by, like a few minutes after, he shows up. And I didn't get the rest of the train then because we just wanted to like say hi to meet him. But this was the manifest. This is probably 369.
Oh yeah. Support Ukraine. Yep. Oh yeah. The bro is here now, and whatever he is saying that it's true, Jacksonville does control NS around here in Foster, Ohio. Not around Northwood area, but oh well, whatever. Anywho, they would, this um, NS train, which is, I don't know what the symbol on this one would end up being, but this is an ROX train. It would end up bound for somewhere west of us, probably Chicago. And, well, it says a UP Jeevo solo leading the some ROX. And by time, Wealth and Willen is here. The 35K Wealth and Wiley starts now.
signal does he have behind me? B522 would end up making our his way down south. The sig the next signal he Before had then, he would have to crawl through Fall Soil, yeah, which is only accessible right, 10 miles per hour through Fall Soil, Ohio. But this is a steel train from Detroit, Michigan to all the way down to Middletown. And what is leading is an ET-44 AC or AH that is leading this train today and he would be a little late. I don't know when they usually head south, but I know the usual northbound is usually around like late afternoon for the northbound one. I didn't get the GPU in this video, but there's the West. There's this boss car that I have not yes, seen in a while. There's only a couple of them that are around. So, we were lucky to see that one. And there comes 215 that would only get two Devos, but I did not get the West of the Train. However, all these West of these clips are going to be shortened. And this is only going to be 22 minute video. I would not get the whole video into this one. You're even lucky that I even post a video of it. Anywho, we're standing on the platform of the caboose. And our next train would end up being two mid DPUs would be one CN and one CSX Rebuild CM44. And then I-151 with a BNSF solo leading bound for North Baltimore, Ohio.